Yes, we're live. Hello, welcome. My name is Vic Hope. I'm a presenter, a journalist, an author, a brand new Amnesty ambassador, and I am so excited to welcome you to the Pride Inside launch party. Tonight, we are launching a brand new platform right here with our incredible partners, UK Black Pride, Para Pride, Gender Intelligence, and Stonewall. Now on this day in June 1969, the Stonewall riots showed the world acts of resistance led by the black and brown LGBTI plus community against police raids and police brutality. They sparked a revolution in LGBTI plus activism and civil rights. Now this riot and subsequent protests paved the way for the Pride celebrations we know and love today. Pride Insights was conceived in light of 220 Pride celebrations, as we know, being cancelled due to COVID-19. It's going to run over two weeks and it's going to be filled with easily accessible content. We want to make sure that the feeling of solidarity, of reflection and of celebration that Pride evokes is still present. And that is why we partnered with these magnificent organisations to show that we are still loud and we are still proud. We're just indoors. Now, in light of all that's happened over the past few months, there has never been a more important time to stand together. So please do join Amnesty in fighting discrimination across the world because love is love. And when we stand together, love wins. We've got an incredible show lined up for you tonight. We've got an array of fabulous musicians. We've got comedians, including Leighton Williams. Uh, we've got Marika Hatman, Arlo Parks, Rufus Wainwright, I know, uh, Ruthie Jones, Elle Devine, and Susie Ruffle, alongside a live chat with our partners. And I just hope that you're as excited as I am to get going. I also want to introduce the fabulous Lauren Lister, who's going to be interpreting tonight's show for us. Thank you so much, Lauren. Now, before we kick off, I do want to highlight one of the many human rights defenders that Amnesty works with, who we'll be asking you to take action for over the next two weeks. Els Bieta is an incredible activist standing up for LGBTI plus rights in Poland and, like many others, has paid the high personal price for doing so. So please do make sure you take action for her. Check out our panel discussion as well on Wednesday, that's at 7pm, where you can hear Els Bieta herself leading the conversation about LGBTI plus rights in Europe. Okay, so let's get going. We've got our first performance of the evening. Now this wonderful human is a dancer, a singer, an actor. He's got so many strings to his bow and a host of incredible roles under his belt. You may have seen him in Bad Education or Treading the Boards. Remember the theater, we will miss it. He was Billy Elliot. He played the titular role of Jamie in Everyone's Talking About Jamie and he is here to open the show with smash hits from that production. It is West End superstar, Leighton Williams. Hey, 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 it's Leighton Williams here. Thank you so much for having me. It is my pleasure to be kicking off the Pride celebrations. Um, I'm sending lots of love to you guys. It's such a difficult time for everyone, but just know that you are loved, you're special, you're beautiful, and we can celebrate Pride inside. So I'm gonna kick things off. I played Jamie and everybody's talking about Jamie in 2019 for the whole year in the West End. And I was on tour with the show until Miss Corona. So I'm gonna bring a bit of Jamie to you guys because this show is all about love, acceptance, and celebrating, you know, people that don't necessarily fit in. This is a queer story. I feel really proud to be playing this part as a black man as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be singing you a little bit of Jamie. I'm gonna do, and you don't even know it, and then I'm gonna give you the finale song, Out of the Darkness. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy. And by the way, I don't have a team here. This is just me slumming it. So I'm pressing play myself. Can you imagine that? Making sure everything is locked off. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Happy Pride. Hey. Sing along if you know the song. There's a clock on the wall, it's moving too slow It's got hours to kill on a lifetime ago And I'm holding my breath till I hear the last bell Then I'm coming out hard and I'm giving a mouth I'm a superstar and you don't even know In a wonder bra and you don't even know it's so Blah blah and you don't even know it I'm like, I don't want and you don't even know it So pack that plan you don't even know it. to the promised land and you will understand Cause you're my back in bed And it's the Jimmy show 
Cause you're mad so so And the car is slow And I'm go 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 I got the dreams, I got the stars I got the moves to make you smile To kiss my ass goodbye I'm gonna be the one I'm on my way, I won't turn Stupid lessons I'm on learning And I'll be free to fly And I'm gonna kiss the sun Cause baby I'm a hit Hey, look at it I'm lit I'm a rock for sure And I'm so fast I'm in a blast, and the past is blast. I'll be free and love, yeah. So we can kiss it, and the stage don't bore me. Nice, you don't do shit. Get up and hit the track. I'm gonna be the one. You win my lane, you win my life. Get out my way, I'm taking flight, and I ain't coming back. And the fire you find us getting you down There's a party starting a new part of town Where there's a guest list of what I'm imagining And if you ask me all night, I'm my friend Hey! I got the dreams, I got the song I got the mood to make you smile To kiss my ass goodbye when you're all my daddy too, you all remember Jay New, the kids who learn to fly. Baby, I'm a hit. Hey, I'm a hit. I'm a hit. I'm a hit. I'm a you don't even know it. She don't even know it. He don't even know it. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. You don't even know it. And you don't even know it. And the crowd goes wild. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pride. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm actually having flashbacks of performing at Pride, so I'm kind of like using that in my head as if it's happening. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not just in the studio all by myself. But it's okay. Hope you're enjoying. Oh, I'm out of breath. Girls, I'm gonna have to get back on the treadmill before I get back to this show because seriously. Okay, second song, let's go. Ha! Well, you come with your heart, but you know where you are, you Ha, ha, hey, and the friends that you choose Wanna walk in shoes You're hard, hard, hard And we got a song that we sing it You and me got a drum that we drum in Listen up to the changes we're bringing No, nothing's going to stop us We're coming out of the darkness Hey, in the spotlight, there is a star shining so bright. Out of the darkness, in the spotlight, there is a new star. Thank you so much. Happy Pride. Sending love to you all. Stay fab, stay safe, and hopefully we can all celebrate together in person very soon. Bye.
Yes, boy, Leighton Williams. What an incredible way to kick off tonight's show. Thank you so, so much for being part of Pride and Sign and for sharing that with us. We have got so many more performances to go. We've got Elle Divine, we've got Arlo Parts, we've got Marika Hackman, and we've got the Rufus Wainwright. They will be serenading us this evening. And our Pride partners are also gonna be with us live. Before we finish with a love letter from Susie Ruffle, but not before my speak to my next guest. She's gonna be joining us live tonight and tickling us with some comedy. It is the star of Eight Out of 10 Cats, Would I Lie to You, and all round amnesty favorite, Rosie Jones. And Rosie's with me now, is she? Hi, Hi yes! Hey. How are you, Rosie? I'm good, happy Pride. Happy Pride to you too. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy to have you with us. I love watching you on the TV. And you're gonna do some comedy live for us tonight, but how are you finding lockdown? Um, it's all right, actually. I'm living with my mum and dad, and it's weird how quickly you get used to it. It's like, okay, this is life now. This is us now. But it's been your birthday, am I right in thinking? Yeah, so it was a big one. On Wednesday, I turned 30. Welcome to the club, Rosie. It's all right, you know. It's not too bad. Happy birthday. Thank you. I mean, I thought it was gonna be depression turning 30 in lockdown yeah. with my mum and dad but we got very drunk <laughs> and yeah everything it was a great day that's the way to do it have a few drinks rosie what yeah. does pride mean to you why is it so important to you that we celebrate Oh, so much. Um, I would talk about it in my stand up, but it took me ages to come out. Um, because growing up, I never saw anyone like me. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any anyone disabled who was also gay so proud i mean it's one time in a year but really pride for me is all day every day because being gay is amazing <laughs> something to be proud of. Rosie, yeah. I'm going to let you do your stand-up for us. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Take it away. Lucy, see ya. See you later. Hello, it's me again. Um, don't adjust your microphones. I talk like this the whole time so get on board um yeah so i'm rosie and if you don't know anything about me i am a triple threat yeah i'm disabled i'm gay and I'm a prick. Oh, the BBC love me. If you forgot a box, I will detect it. Um, it took me ages to come out to myself because I thought. I'm not gay. I'm disabled. That's 
my thing. I can't take two boxes. Takes me that long to take one. Um, but I love being me. I love being disabled. And I've never let my disability stand in my way. And growing up, my mum and dad said to me, Rosie, you be whoever you want to be. Apart from a hairdresser. And an optician. And a brain surgeon. Oh, and a train announcer. The train coming into the platform four is the fourteen twenty two two Damn, it's already gone. Bloody hell. But it's okay now because I finally found the perfect job for me. I get to work for 10 minutes a day. Tops. I get to talk about my favourite ever subject, me, and I usually get a shag out of it. Not right now, not when I'm doing an online gig, living with my parents, that would be weird. Um, you have been so lovely and I'm so proud to be part of the Pride community because it gets me more work and tits are great. So yeah. Hey yeah. Um I've been Rosie. Have a good night. See ya. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie Jones. A bit of life relief. Make sure you do check her out on a TV screen near you very, very soon. But now from comedy to music, as we take it down a notch and listen to the beautiful, dulcet tones of the one and only Marika Hackman. Hello, I'm Marika Hackman and I stand with Amnesty International, UK Black Pride, Para Pride, Gendered Intelligence and Stonewall in celebrating Pride Inside. This platform is so important for solidarity amongst all queer people and it's great to be kicking off the next few weeks of events amongst such fantastic company. Um, I'm going to play a few songs um, from the last records that I've released and this first one I'm going to do is a song called Wonderlust. Um, so, hope you enjoy. Worlds of fun and games The silence speaks of pain And I read aloud Because you asked me to you fell asleep, and then the silence. 
going to play a really old song that I haven't played for a while <clears throat> so hopefully it goes all right um it's the first I think it's the first single ever released um and it's called You Come Down Pour the 
This is a song by Elliot Smith. Um, it's called Between the Bars. Drink up, baby, stay out all night. The things you could do, you won't, but you mind the potential you. Whilst we're all here to enjoy the launch and celebrate Pride, I just wanted to mention taking action for Els Bieta. You can do this on our Pride Inside page with a few simple clicks. Um, so thank you so much for listening and um, happy Pride Month. Welcome back. That was a beautiful performance from Marika Hackman. Make sure you check out her website and her socials for music and updates on what she's up to next. Thank you so much for supporting Pride Inside, Marika. And make sure you stick around as well because we've got performances from Elle Divine, 
Arlo Parks, Susie Ruffle, and the legend that is Rufus Wainwright all coming up. Okay, so Pride Inside was devised to showcase solidarity amongst all LGBTI plus people. And a key ingredient to that was bringing together authentic representation from intersectional organizations and showcasing the incredible work that they all do. So please put your at home, freshly washed hands together for our incredible Pride Inside partners, UK Black Pride, Para Pride, Stonewall, and Gendered Intelligence. Now we have amazing reps from UK Black Pride and Para Pride with us tonight. So please welcome Josh from UK Black Pride and Daniel from Para Pride. Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Elated. I was, I've been enjoying the performances. <laughs> I really loved the comedy earlier. You know, when I think Rosie, right, was talking about, yeah, I can't be disabled and gay. It takes me long enough to take one box. I thought <laughs> yeah. of queer black people and queer black disabled people um, who, <laughs> and it was just funny because it's a, an experience that so many of us understand that yeah. we're only ever allowed to be one thing when actually what we embody um, are so many more things. Well, it, it does feel like the very reason that we wanted to bring so many organizations together for this, for Pride Inside. Um, Daniel, tell us a little bit about Power Pride and how you came to be involved in Pride Inside. He, he might have left his um, I think microphone mute. Are you perhaps muted, Daniel? Yeah, I'm not sure. No? Hmm, I can't hear, I can't hear you. Josh, can you hear Daniel or not? I can't hear Daniel, can you hear me? I can hear you. Um, maybe if we try and work out what it is, there's, what's wrong with your microphone, but Josh, I'll ask you, tell us a little bit about um, Black Pride as an organization, how you got involved with Pride Inside, and hopefully Daniel will be able to get your mic back. I hope so. Uh, yeah. So in 2005, a busload of black lesbians went down to South End on sea for what would become UK Black Pride. So we are led and founded by Lady Phil, who many people are already familiar with, um, a queer black African warrior woman. Um, and 15 years on, it's our 15th birthday this year. Um, we've grown to an event, the largest event in Europe for LGBTQ people of African, Asian, Middle Eastern and Latin American descent um, so we and Caribbean descent. And so we are very um, proud to be part of Pride Inside um, and to be representing um, all the communities that we um, seek to impact. Well, you know, Pride is it's a celebration. We're having an amazing time this evening, but it's not just that, is it? It's a protest as well. What is your message of protest? this year, Josh? Well, I think it's an amazing time to be a queer black person, right? Yeah. You know, we, so many of us know that pride or the modern LGBTQ liberation movement as we know it, um, got started because black and Latinx, trans women, sex workers, deviants, um, pushed back against police brutality, right? They said no more and the modern, liberation movement was built out of that. And so we've always felt, um, you know, very um, indebted to the black trans and Latinx women who've come before us. And I think that we've never really had an opportunity and black people know this today, right? That there isn't just a protest. We're not just saying black lives matter. We're, mm -hmm. and and only protesting, right? We are also at the same time dancing to candy and doing the electric slide <laughs> yes. and sharing memes and laughing because blackness, queerness, blackness and queerness is always already a protest and a yes. celebration. We've never been able to separate the two. We've always had to show up as our full selves. In order for us to do that, we've always had to say, we are black and we're queer. We are protesting, we are fighting and we're celebrating because being black and being queer is the most remarkable experience. And anyone who's not, I feel sorry for you. But so we've always <laughs> had, my message is, your blackness, your queerness, your queerness, your brownness, your queerness is beautiful. Um, yeah. So, you know, your existence is a resistance in and of itself. So just be who you are. Yeah. You know what? I can't even tell you how many people need to hear that 
so much. So thank you. Thank you for that message. It resonates and it's important and now more than ever. Like it means so much. Do you have any messages for people at the moment who are struggling a bit because we're isolated and you know, being yourself and feeling like you belong and, and being proud of who you are is difficult, you know, at the best of times, let alone when you're when you're locked down. What would you say to everyone in isolation who needs to hear that? You know, I think that we should be very honest Can you hear me? about one, two, three, four. Okay, they're gonna bring you back in. Okay. Okay, good luck. Right. Bye. Daniel, Daniel, lovely to have you back. I'm just gonna continue with Josh for one minute and then <laughs> come to you, but it's good to hear you again. Um, but yes, Josh was thank just you. letting us know his, his message for anyone who's struggling in isolation at this time and, and who, who needs that strength and that solidarity. I think that we should really remember that loneliness and isolation is a very real and ongoing problem for so many black and brown LGBTQ people. COVID-19 has just made it worse, right? Mm -hmm. And so these tools that we are um, using now, digital pride celebrations, these should be really more regular. Um, yeah. And so I would just say to everyone who's feeling isolated and alone that, you know, all of us at UK Black Pride, you know, at this time, at UK, today was supposed to be UK Black Pride 2020. And right now at 7.30, we were supposed to be on stage, all of the volunteers with Lady Phil, looking at tens of thousands of black and brown queer people shouting and screaming and dancing to candy. And we're not having that moment right now, and we are, we're all feeling that. But I want, we all want people in isolation and who are feeling lonely to know there is a world of people fighting for you, fighting for themselves, so that we can all live in a world that we all deserve to live in. And so you may feel alone, you may feel isolated, but we're all here for you. We all want you to win. We all want you to survive, and we all want you to be happy. So just know that we're here. Reach out to us, and, and we totally support you, and, and we'll be here for you. Thank you. Yeah, we're isolated, but we are together and we're doing this on a platform that in many ways we could learn from in future. So Daniel, you know, talking about access, actually, what can we learn from events like this, which we could take into future years um, and doing Pride for many, many years to come? Yeah, well, um, I think it's, a, it's a, a, you know, for Power Pride as well, like COVID has hit Power Pride really badly, you know, like we had to um, we, we had to postpone all of our events, like many other Pride LGBT events um, um, organizations. Uh, but uh, um, you know, the, the, in, in previous experience, uh, we did also um, face some challenges uh, with uh, participating to live parades and live events um, because of accessibility. And mm -hmm. for this reason, uh, and many times we, we, you know, the disabled community hasn't been able to uh, participate and feel included. Whereas, uh, um, you know, with, uh, uh, with um, events like um, Pride Inside, um, this can set uh, a new example of what inclusion um, Pride would look like and hopefully other Pride festivals um, which have not been accessible and inclusive for everyone will have the opportunity to um, implement uh, improvements. And uh, yeah, you know, like event, digital events like these can reach out to a far wider, um, to a far wider audience. So uh, for, uh, on, this, on this front, it's, it really is great. We can be bigger and better than ever. Uh, Daniel, can you talk us through some of the highlights that you've got with Para Pride over the next two weeks in terms of the events that you're running here as part of Pride Insides? Yes, well, um, first of all, we feel honored to be able to um, participate in Pride Inside and to be able to share this incredible experience uh, standing by such iconic organizations uh, like Amnesty International, UK Black Pride, Stonewall, and Jedund Intelligence. And uh, um, uh, we, uh, our lineup um, of events will be mainly over the weekend of the 4th, Saturday 4th and Sunday 5th of uh, July. Uh, we've got an incredible um, uh, incredible performances from uh, uh, artists um, that have performed 
with us before, like Son of a Tutu, like Ebony Rose Dark, um, uh, Miss Kimberly, Mel Stevens, who is an aerial artist. Um, but we also have some brand new, um, uh, brand new performers as well, uh, like uh, uh, Andrew Gregory, who is uh, uh, a pole artist. Um, so we will be producing, we will be presenting uh, a lineup of predominantly um, queer and disabled uh, um, talent. Oh. <clears throat> so um, we are we are very very excited about this. I can't wait. And Josh, can you talk us as well through some of the highlights that UK Black Pride will be running um, over the next two weeks? Yeah, we're running actually our events from Thursday the second of July until Sunday the fifth of July, and there are eleven events in total. We have a keynote conversation with Lady Phil and Kuchenga about Black feminism, intersectionality, and the fight for trans lives. We have master classes, um, writing queer stories, um, social media for activists. We have entertainment, Hungama, Toya DeLazy, an evening with the Cocoa Butter Club. And we're closing um, our Pride Inside program with uh, a worship for Black Lives, which is led by House of Rainbow, which is a queer and all-inclusive um, ministry of faith um, for queer Black people around the world and with a meditation on love and rage with Lama Rod Owens and Charmaine Bailey. So we're, we're starting, we're, we're, we're putting on a series of events that we hope will kind of hit a lot of people where they need to be hit at the moment, which is in the heart. So much to look forward to, so much to get excited about. It's all happening right here on this platform. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for, for dealing with the little bit of technology there. It's fine, we got there in the end. It's been an 2020. absolute pleasure to talk to you. It's 2020, <laughs> welcome to 2020. Um, George, Daniel, thank you so much. I've loved speaking thank to you. you. I just wanna say happy Pride, enjoy. Happy Pride, happy Black Pride. Happy Black Pride, Pride. Pride. Right. Happy Black Pride. <laughs> <laughs> bye guys. Bye. Thank you again to our partners, this is such, a unique and wonderful celebration. It's so lovely to be a part of. So let's move on to another incredible performer who is as loud and as proud as they come. A one to watch, a radio favorite. Her name is Elle Divine. She's performing a lovely track for us tonight. And then I'm gonna get to speak to her live as well. So stay tuned for that. Take it away, Elle Divine. Hey, I'm Elle Divine and I stand alongside Amnesty International, UK Black Pride, Power of Pride, gendered intelligence and stonewall in celebrating pride inside. It's so, so important that we have a platform like this um, for all queer people and it's so special to be a part of. So thank you so much, Amnesty, for having me be a part of this. Um, I'm gonna play my song, Daughter. Hope you love it. <laughs> She's the only secret that she would keep Till I saw her as she saw me Every day me and on the side We told our friends and we told you lies Cause the world wasn't on our side Well it's hard Sorry, miss. 
Potter, but I'm sorry, miss. I'm in love with your daughter. It goes against everything that she taught her, but I'm sorry, miss. I'm in love with your daughter. Thank you so much and happy pride. <laughs>
stand up for what's right and to show solidarity and I'm grateful to be able to share some music with you guys and hopefully lift everyone's spirits. Um, this is a song called Black Dog. It's probably one of the most emotional songs I've ever written and I hope you enjoy it. I'd lick the grief right off your lips You do your eyes like Robert Smith Sometimes it seems like you won't survive this And honestly it's terrifying Let's go to the corner store and buy some fruit I would do anything to get you out your room Just take your medicine and eat some food I would do anything to get you out your room It's so cruel What your mind can do for no reason I'd take a jump off the fire escape To make the black dog go away Alice, I know that you are trying But that's what makes it terrifying Let's go to the corner store and buy some fruit I would do anything to get you out your room Just take your medicine and eat some food I would do anything to get you out your room It's so What your mind can do for no reason It's so I hope you enjoyed that. I wanted to end this just by reading a little poem that I wrote um, about love, and it's a celebration of inclusivity. Um, I've stretched out under a sun of honey, unsure, alone, the air smelling of turned earth. I've held every part of myself in the palm of my hand, like a chunk of tiger's eye or the quiet part of a folk song. I've accepted my terrible dance moves and crippling empathy and my gift for crushing hugs and cooking fajitas, my black body, my orange hair, my nervous habits and stubborn hands covered in cheap rings. I've found my favorite people dancing hot and open to LL Cool J in corners of unpromising bars. I have found them enthralled with sculpture or astrology, with Hitchcock movies or basketball. 
I have found them freckled or limping or lazy-eyed. Impulsive tattoos, dark green, sandals, quick to love, agonising over every decision, a scarred shoulder, a fear of beetles, an organiser of protests. My favourite people in the world are varied and unapologetic, brought together by love, and that in itself is really quite beautiful. Thank you. My name is Ali Parks and thank you Amnesty for having me. Her voice literally gives me shivers. So, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Arlo. We have heard from some incredible guests this evening and I know everyone who's part of Pride Inside is just so excited to have started the next two weeks off in such style. Amnesty International, UK Black Pride, Stonewall, Power Pride and Gendered Intelligence want you to feel accepted and able to be who you are, you know, without fear of discrimination. So let's come together and let's make that goal a reality. That is what we're here for. Please make sure you do take action for Elsbieta, who I mentioned earlier, and check out our Pride Inside website as well for more ways to get involved. Okay, I think we've got time for one more special performance before I round off this incredible show. We've had huge success around the world, and this guy is lauded as one of the great voices of his generation. He is an LGBTI plus icon. We are lucky enough to bear witness to a new song from his upcoming album, which is hugely exciting. It is my pleasure to introduce the incredible Rufus Wainwright. Hi, it's Rufus Wainwright. It's so great to be celebrating Pride with you guys. Um, this is a song that I wrote for my husband, Yorn. Uh, we've been married for over seven years, and uh, it's called Peaceful Afternoon, and it's on my new album, Unfollow the Rules, which you can pre-order if you want, uh, coming out July 10th. So here we go. Well, it's coming on to 13 years together, babe. I pray that it's a luck a lucky, lucky number And although I know I brought you joy and happiness, babe I've also been a fuck For kind resorts, for anger Cause it's all a part of the game Trying to keep the kitchen clean Remember wild roses bloom Best in ruins forever after Cause it's all a part of the game Yeah, yeah it's all a part of the sin Your face is the last I say On a peaceful afternoon And just in case You go before me Rest assured That others I can My face is the last you'll say On a peaceful afternoon Leave in the living Living room
is Rufus Wainwright. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rufus Wainwright, for sharing that with us. Make sure you check out his wonderful new material. It's dropping soon. And with that, I can't believe we're nearly at the end of the show. And what a show it's been, what a party it's been. Look, despite all of the levity and the celebration and the brilliantly joyous performances, I do hope that you feel emboldened to fight for the rights of all LGBTI plus people. Now, you may have heard of the recent proposed reforms to the Gender Recognition Act, or maybe you've been involved in the Black Lives Matter protests that have gripped the world, rightly so, the movement is gaining momentum. We want you to know that we are in this together. There is always more that we can do, so please, Join our partners this week and celebrate Pride Inside by watching a workshop or maybe a panel or enjoying an online conversation with an amazing activist. There is just so much to see and to learn and make sure as well that you're looking after yourselves too. Practice some self-love. I want to say a huge thank you to all of our partners, all of our guests this evening, all of our performers. It's been a pleasure to stand amongst you. And to play you out, we have the sweetest clip from the amazing comedian and amnesty friend, Susie Ruffle, who pens an incredible love letter to a 14 year old self. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy Pride. I love you all. Let's pull that out. <laughs> Bye. Hello, I'm Susie Ruffle, and this video is in support of Amnesty International, UK Black Pride, Para Pride, Gendered Intelligence and Stonewall in celebrating Pride Inside. I was asked to write a love letter to someone in the LGBT community. Now I've sent quite a few to my girlfriend but I'm not sure that she'd be uh, that keen on me sharing them. So I, uh, it was suggested that I wrote a love letter to myself. Now I host a podcast called Out with Susie Ruffle and it's about people's coming out journeys and them finding their place in the world. So I thought if I could send maybe a love letter or at least a little note to 14 year old me who had just realised she was gay. She wasn't very happy about it. I was deeply ashamed in fact. It took me a long, long time to be comfortable of who I was and even longer to be proud. It seems strange to me that someone who for so long uh, was ashamed and embarrassed by their sexuality and tried to hide it and would do anything to not be who I am is now a very, very proud lesbian. Uh, in fact, occasionally a VIG, a very important gay. Um, I would like to tell that 14 year old that how you feel right now isn't going to be how you feel forever. One day, the thing that you're most scared of will be something that you love about yourself. It will in fact be part and parcel of who you are. It will have stuff to do with your career. You'll be able to be exactly who you want to be. Mum will be okay and Nan won't mind that you're gay. You will find love, you will be happy, and hang in there because in a little while you'll feel for much, much better about yourself. Um, maybe, maybe miss the brief relationship with a boy, uh, but you will find love and it will be brilliant. Uh, now more than ever, we need to be loud and together and proud together because thousands of us need to unite for what is right and what is fair because love always wins. Uh, I always love doing stuff with Amnesty. Thank you for your incredible work. Bye-bye.